do you want to learn rhino in the shortest span possible there is a long course available where you can learn in detail but today we are going to teach you rhino to get you started and all the fundamentals required so let's get started first we'll open rhino it will show up with a window like this which is a preview window you can select a project from here and the latest news on rhino now it comes up with this four windows which you can see the model easily there is a properties tab there is a layers tab there is quick tools and the top button is for commands so now first thing we'll just select a new template and select a template over here let's say large objects and millimeters to open perspectives just click on the perspective so double click is for opening the windows big and small now we'll jump into how do we create any object in rhino so first of all we will go into perspective zoom out by a scroll ball and then we'll just create a box so for now we just create a box okay it shows with a wireframe view like this we right click on this and change the view to a shaded view okay and now we will start creating models in a practical way in the command line it says first corner of box and now we'll just enter the first corner as a point 0 comma 0 comma 0 and we'll mention the length or you can mention the point so we'll mention let's say we want a 24 meters 24 m and then the width let's say 9 meters and then we'll give a thickness let's say 0.6 meters so we create a floor slab and now we'll just copy this one so to copy this copy you can just type on the keyboard and it will come up with a command bar like this and then you can snap on the start point of the copy and then it says it is this going in a horizontal way so we need to go in the vertical way so what you do is put your mouse on the vertical point and then press tab and then say 3.6 meters so now we create roof slab now we'll go into the next layer let's go to layer 3 rename it to glazing so it's just double click on the layer and it will make that as a current layer which you see can as a tick and then you can move it up you can rename the base layer as solid and now to create the glazing we'll create a rectangle for the base curve and then we'll select the base curve and say extrude curve so there is a command line which comes up okay we have to select extrude curve and now it is extruding in both directions now you have to see the command line to see what options are there we pick out of that let's say we don't want to do both sides we say no and then solids i don't want to do a solid so you click on that so it becomes no and delete input no okay and then you set up the height of this by clicking over here or mentioning a height so i'll click over here so i get this glazing now we'll just go and create another geometry which is called uh, columns okay and let's give a column now we'll use the same step which is click on the box and then just give a dimension let's say 0 0.3 0 0.3 meters by 0 0.3 meters and give a height to it and now what we'll do is we'll just move it at one corner and now if you want to scale it you can use the gumball scale option so there is a buttons over here like points you can just select and drag it or you can use the scale command over here which says scale 1d and just mention this height and then say 4.8 meters okay now you can just copy this one select this copy and give a dimension let's say 6 meters and 12 meters 18 meters okay now you can select this and group it 
so you don't have to select it again so just one click and it gets selected now if you want to move it to the center okay you can use this gumball button and just move it to the midpoint okay now to move it vertically what you do is move and then click on vertical select this point click this point and you get this now we'll mirror it so mirror that's it mirror now we want to create an extension in this direction so what we do is just do this and scale 1d and we can give a new dimension let's say 35 meters or yeah and now if you want to copy it again so you just copy and you can move it in your own way or you can just snap it to the right point now if you are not able to snap it just make sure you tick everything over here except the center because center is kind of uh, disturbing when you're modeling some things now you can see how quickly you can just Now you can move the object vertically down by clicking on this and say minus 0.6 M. Create staircases over here. So you just create a box again and give a size to it. Let's go to solid again or maybe in staircase at this time. And then let's say it is two meters long and 300 0.3 m okay and the height could be 150 mils now we'll just copy now you can even join these geometries together so if this was joined together, what I would do is now create a polyline and then extrude curve and this time I want a solid so click on yes and then you select all these geometries and boolean union and then you get this geometry. I hope you like this video. For further information or details, you can contact me anytime. Check other videos out and you will find a lot of value in it. Thanks for watching.